around Times Square, smack dab in the middle of the greatest city in the universe. It's all night with Joey Reynolds. I'm Big J Sorensen from 101.1 CBS FM, New York's greatest hits. Our guest tonight, America's most beloved living entertainer, comedian Dave Koenig. Clinical psychiatrist and broadcaster, Dr. Dale Archer. Musical guest celebrating the great American songbook, Jennifer Sheehan. Considered the world's greatest Sinatra tributeer, vocalist Steve Caglio. Magicians Michael Chout, Peter Samuelson, and Dennis Ayakos. Vocalist and yoga dancers Akiani and the Time Ride Space. Plus, rock and roll fable group Proto Men. And now, the guy who's gonna lift his shirt and throw beads from the top of the NASDAQ building for Mardi Gras, Joey Reynolds. Much to drink in New Orleans. <laughs> well, hi, folks. How are you? Welcome to everybody's uh, favorite late night thing to do, which is to put me in your bed and uh, and share me. <laughs> I love being shared. You know, I find that most people are watching the television from the bed. That's what I'm told. And uh, it was definitely when we had the radio show. I know I was right there in your ear. In the earlier years, I was on transistor radio in the pillow because we had to sneak to listen to rock and roll from our parents. And, and which reminds me, you know, Omar Gaddafi, you probably have seen him speak a number of times. Uh, he's Charlie Cheehan's uh, father. What are you doing? You got to do your own show over there, you guys? Uh, anyway, they're, they're talking amongst each other. Must be a congregation in the church. Might be funnier. <laughs> there must be, it might be better material. Why don't you come and do it on the air here? <laughs> I have no material anyway. I'm just going to tell you what's happening. Charlie Sheehan's uh, been mentioned so many times now that uh, nobody wants to talk about it anymore except uh, over at Betty Ford, you know, where, where he really belongs. <laughs> at this point, we've all had our Charlie, Ch our Charlie Sheen jokes. I mean, everybody's, I gave up on it. You know, well, a couple of nights ago, I, I gave my little thing and then I, I wasn't gonna mention his name again. And, well, and I spent a whole two days in abstinence. And it's Lent, you yeah. know, so I figure I'm giving up Charlie Sheen for 40 days. Yeah. This is the way it is. You don't wanna talk too much about, about the guy because it makes him more, so, seemingly crazy, you know, and he's not that crazy. He's actually a good PR guy. <laughs> I mean, I think he's doing a lot better than our people. You know, they, 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 you got to spend a lot of money to get that kind of promotion. But what I was going to tell you about was Gaddafi. I was watching him. You know who he looks like? Who? Little Richard. A little, yeah. Yeah, with that lipstick, you know, right over the lip like that. Except he hasn't had the face work that it, Little Richard's had. Well, Little Richard has had a lot of work done. Yes. Uh, little, little Richard has, uh, I, I knew him when he was straight. <laughs> he was very interesting, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then he came out with that 2D fruity, you know, yeah. which was kind of revealing. It was. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, and a couple of other things, you know, uh, Loudy Miss Cloudy, isn't that his? Was that his? No, was that, that was uh, Lloyd Price. Lloyd, well, who was it? What was that other thing that he did? This well, time? he did 2D fruity, Good Golly Miss Molly. Good Golly uh, Miss Molly. Yeah, yeah he did a lot it, of yeah. those things. But he's Slipping in the Rock and Roll line. Hall of Fame. Same day that they put me in there, they committed me with him, you know. So you're I'm, in the same closet. I was in the same closet, exactly. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful experience. <laughs> we came out screaming, you know. But he became a Seventh-day Adventist, yeah. which means that you don't smoke and you don't drink and you don't curse, you don't fornicate. I mean, not, you don't do anything when you're a Seventh-day Adventist. You got seven days of nothing, you know. I mean, it's 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 part of the belief system. And Richard was one of those guys who did that for a while. Mm -hmm. I think it lasted about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. He went back to work. But of all the rock and roll stars, he is definitely the most colorful. There was a, one other. There was one other. I will tell you. Screaming Jay Hawkins. Oh, yeah. Who used to come out in a... a, a oh, I got to tell you this. I, when Bruce is here some night, Bruce Morrow, you know where I met him? I did not meet him in New York radio. He was here on WINS after Alan Freed. And then he went to uh, Miami, to WINZ, which is not the same owners, but both are called Winds. Mm -hmm. And I was down at the Biscayne Boulevard at the uh, center that they had down there, that band shell. Mm -hmm. And I was watching Johnny Mathis be introduced by Bruce Morrow. Wow. And Bruce Morrow had these red pants on and a green jacket. Yeah. So I thought, you know, he was really Johnny's boyfriend <laughs> when I got out there. <laughs> I, th I figured, you know, I mean, I had a lot of things going on in my head back I'm in those sure. days. 
And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, they, they got to be like an item because one was wearing, <laughs> one, one was wearing pink mink shoes and yeah. the other one had the other thing, you know. Well, Bruce used to wear but the leopard where, skin I'm things. I'm sorry? And Bruce used to wear leopard outfits, too. Well, yeah, I mean, he, wore, he was yeah. one of those guys, outrageous. you know, and he, he was outrageous. Right. You wouldn't think that now because he's such a gentleman in yeah. the Variety Club telethons oh, and all that. He's a great guy. Plus, he's, he does that very family presentation yes. now. Uh, he doesn't, I don't, I think he and Johnny broke up. But you know, I'm going to have him on the show uh, pretty soon if he, now, uh, he may not now, not after tonight. <laughs> but we have, uh, we, we have Bruce invited on the show. And I want to bring some of the people who don't know who Bruce Morrow was or is mm -hmm. into this generation. Because he's the keeper of the oldies. There are like 300 records that get played over and over and over again. And Jay here, who is Big Jay on CBS, yeah. He plays these things over and over again. I don't know how you do it. I mean, it's I really, you must have really. It's not the 300, Joey. It's a, it's a lot more than no, that. No, there's 300 records. Come on, 300 we, major How many ones. times am I going to hear the limbo rock? You don't hear that anymore. Uh, no, you sure shouldn't. Not anymore. No. No, no. You know how that started anyway. We don't, don't even you? call it oldies anymore. <clears throat> It's what do you call hits. it? Yeah, classic hits. Come on, classic. Yeah. They're still same old crap. <laughs> well, you know, in it's, your a, estimation. it's the same old stuff that we would never want to hear. We again. still play. It's the same old song. I know, <laughs> but I do have a, a background in this, and I and I'm uh, here to report that uh, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to go on now. We went outside tonight. There's a lot of Looney Tunes out there. Oh yeah, and, uh, doing jumping. A jacks. lot of crazy people tonight. I don't know where they're all coming from, but I know where they're going. Uh, if Bellevue were open, this would uh, we'd be doing the show from there tonight. But we're we're out in Times Square and at 43rd and Broadway at the Nasdaq Building, and in this financial center, which is a honey hive, you know, for uh, for money. Mm -hmm. People are gathered around outside with all kinds of agendas, and you never know what you're going to get when you go out fishing. True. Uh, so I take the microphones and the cameras, and and we go outside, and uh, here's what we found tonight. Well, how many cell phones do you have? How many you got? How many you got? Well, you, you didn't steal these, did you? Oh, yeah, I did. You, did. you got two of them. <laughs> you must be a very popular lady. I am. You're very beautiful. Thank you. But I don't know, two uh, is this a, a two phone day? No, not two it's phone like, day. It's a three dog night for me. Oh? I don't know about you. <laughs> now this is like they do on Extra, okay. you know, on TV where the crowd stands behind the guy oh, yeah. and they act interested. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm super uh, interested. I'm incredibly interested in what's going on right now. I want you to fake interest in me. You got it. You're, are you going to stand and stare at the camera? Uh, I'm sorry? What? We're just going to stand and stare no, at the no, camera? No, no, that's or? what they do on next. I have a television show that's on the air every night at midnight mm -hmm. from that station in there, see? Okay. That's NBC nonstop, and I'm in that window every night. But I, once in a while, I wander out here, and I want to just say hello to you. Isn't that good? Yes, it is. I, don't, I have no money to give away, so I know you're out of here. <laughs> I don't have any particular fame. You know, you don't know who I am, right? No, I really no. don't. You don't care. <laughs> you don't give a rat's you know what, right? Uh, can I ask your name? Yeah, my name is Julio Rivera. Hula. Julio, Julio. Julio. Hola. Julio. <laughs> my name is Boyo Loco. <laughs> and what's your name? Uh, Stephanie. How do you do? Hi. Now, where are you from? I'm from New York. I know where. Queens. Queen. Queens. Queens. That miserable borough. Long Island City, yes. What a, what a lovely spot. It's a, it's a garden spot. You know why everybody likes Queens? <laughs> Excuse me, why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, let, let me ask you this. If you were a talk show host, okay. right, and today is you're standing in Times Square in New York, okay. what do you want to talk about? Where would you, what would you do? What would I do? Don't go to where, Where's the Charmin okay. Ultra Toilet? Sure, sure. Yeah, where's the Charmin Ultra Toilet? Do you know where that is? In New York, you're never going to find a toilet. Uh. <laughs> Over here, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a living here. It's code red. Okay, what's up? Uh, my name is Joey Reynolds. I just went through the thing with Julio and his lady here. Okay. I, I have a television show that's on the air over there. What's See? it called? It's called Joey Reynolds All Night. Oh, heck but I, yeah. it goes on at midnight. Where okay. are you from? Charlotte, North Carolina. You'll never see me. I won't. <laughs> Singular. AT &T. What? Singular is AT&T. Yeah, that's what I said, AT&T. I know, AT&T <laughs> is no longer singular. They don't want to be known as singular. Exactly. They want to be known as AT&T. Ma Bell. You know I did a record called Ma Bell, You Got Me By The Calls? No. I did. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> did not know that. <laughs> you didn't know that. I was going to open a series of wagons that have those Johnny on the spots on them and call it a stop and squat. 
<laughs> I figured that would be something to do here. Yeah, that's, that's just a drunk. That's girl. great. And that's what? Great. <laughs> I thought that was just a drunk girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got to be on the show. Come on. They have to be on the show. <laughs> Come on. We love this show. I know. You don't even know what you love. <laughs> you know, I love people. I, I, I love We're people. We're all so night, are we? See when I started? <laughs> you started right. A mountain here, I said it's great to be. A mountain here, I said it's great. Woo! All right, you guys. No, 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 it's great. This is great. It's perfect. What the hell are we cheering for? Appalachian State University. We came from Boone, North Carolina. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have met you guys. You've been a, a joy. You didn't come up with a topic. No, I didn't. Okay. Do you want a topic? Yeah. That you can talk to people about. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what I, I have a brain fart every night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> now wait. See, that's Joey Reynolds. Yeah. That's me. And then I do the show in that window every night. Oh, really? Midnight until 2. But tonight you're on it, and so is Julio Yay! on his show. Julio on his show. <laughs> now Julio is so happy that he ran into you girls tonight that he's giving her up. We need hugs. We need hugs. Yeah. Wait a minute. You want a free hug? Come on. I want a free hug. Oh. Wait. I want a lot of hugs. Have a good night, Welcome sir. to New York, where you get hugged, bugged, and mugged. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, you are huggers. Where are you from? England. We're from Michigan. Michigan. In Ohio. Hey. Yeah. The English guys really enjoyed it. I think they are going to leave with a new idea about what's going on here. <laughs> well, is this one here is for your boyfriend? Um, not my boyfriend, no. Oh. Your other significant other? No. Just a guy you know. Yeah. And you hold on to his phone. Yes, I do. Is this like the new engagement? <laughs> it might be. Yeah. That might be the new technology. I love that, you yes. know. So you know what? I'm texted to you. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're sewn together by a text. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love it? Did you get your hug? Oh my god, it's a guy. I'm with the mafia. Oh, <laughs> it's a still good hug. Watch it here. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go inside. Thank you for the hugs. All right, goodbye. I gotta go inside right now and I gotta go get, you know what I gotta get? I gotta get de-hugged. <laughs> I'm de-hugging you. I, I know. Where's the punchline? <laughs> you just walk out into a crowd anymore and there's, uh, there's no, nowhere to go. You know, you just, you can just let people be living their lives on life's terms, you know. I, I, I think the whole idea of this reality television started in Canada, uh, as I recall. I, w I remember being on the air in Buffalo, and we were close to Toronto, of course, 90 miles away. And they, they had an idea to put the uh, television cameras in the subways, and they ran that up on the uh, screens for travel, you know, for tourists. And what happened was they had uh, uh, the, the cameras in the subway were also picked up, I think it was CTC, a Canadian uh, television company, that put it on the morning show, you know, like Imus did, where they put the cameras on his morning show. And they did this, this is years ago, though, and they put it on uh, just the people getting on the trains. Mm -hmm. And that became a format. So everybody would watch television in the morning while they're having their coffee. They'd be watching the trains leave the station. In, in Toronto. Why? <laughs> Why don't we do what we do? I, I mean, it, because I think we're voyeurs. Yeah. We like to watch other people. We want validation. But unless somebody falls down, it's not entertaining. Well, that's to you. See, no. I mean, you're, you're one of those guys. Yeah, I, I, know, I know. I sing a couple of songs, too. <laughs> Mine is Send in the Clouds. Oh, okay. All and right. then there's another favorite I have yeah. besides that uh, wonderful Stephen Sondheim song. Yeah. Which is, uh, have I stayed too long at the fair? <laughs> you remember that song, yes, you know? Absolutely. I wanted the clowns to be constantly funny. Mm -hmm. Have I stayed too long yeah. at the fair? Yeah. 
you know, in other words, uh, how long are you going to keep this going? Yeah, really. But the other part of this, the other thing, I was just thinking about this with Frank Sinatra. we got Steve Magalu coming out to sing tonight. Mm -hmm. But Frank Sinatra sang that great song of sending the clowns, and the line in it that's just a killer, isn't it rich? You know, that's, that's a good one. But when he says, uh, what, what's the line in there that, that says it all? Uh, you lose uh, your timing. Yeah. When you, like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> but the worst thing is to lose your timing. Yes. And that's, that's what everybody wants to have, mm -hmm. you know. And I noticed, like, when we went outside tonight, you know, we're juggling around. I talked to a girl in the lobby, mm -hmm. then we went outside, mm -hmm. and we're talking to a guy across the street. Right. We got a guy from Pittsburgh. Right. There was a crowd that's hugging. Right. There's someone from England. It's There's someone from the Michigan. Yeah. It was all over the map, yeah. like my head. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have a meeting in my head that but goes like that every that's night. That's the whole idea, but that's New York. I, it's everybody, but really we don't, we, we formalize it and organize it. Now, I want to I put a piece of news on the air tonight, which I think is, is stunning. Let's hear it. AIG gave the government $69 billion, or $6.9 billion. Is it $6.9 billion? That's what it is. Okay, and? That's how a lot of more wine. How the hell much did they steal? Well, yeah. You know, I mean, if they gave them that, <laughs> they gave them that much back, how much, what was the sum total of it? GM paid back, too. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't a job. That was a loan. Yeah, well. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking about how much money there is in the world and how we have so little of it. You know, uh, Come to think of it, yeah, you're right. There was another time when I was uh, working at 20th Century Fox, and we, we had Star Wars, mm -hmm. and I was uh, perplexed, yeah. and I went up to the, to the chairman's office. You know, I mean, I had a big, big job. Yeah, you did. And I said, uh, I was a little bit depressed, you know, like after yesterday's party. We had this big party here last night, mm -hmm. and then today I got a little bit down because there's an afterglow. Yeah. And it, it's an ember, you know, you, get, you come down after, after a big high. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I took this time to reflect okay. on Star Wars. Right. And it was a busy time. You know, the studio made like $90 million. And, this, and, and up until then, it was in the toilet, mm -hmm. incidentally, frankly. Mm -hmm. So and this is way before Murdoch and Fox and News and, you know, all these guys got involved. Mm -hmm. But I, I was, it was a public corporation then. And I was called up to the office, and, and um, i got to tell you what Alan said to me, you know, the uh, president of the company. He says, you know, uh, you're a little bit, you're our best cheerleader, and you're a little bit on the downside. Now, what, what happened? What is it? And I said, no, nothing. You know, and I s sat on his four or six couches he had in his office. Four or six. It was like a Levitt showroom. <laughs> you know, you didn't know where you were going to sit because so, everybody was so rich and right. expensive. Right. And I, I, I said, no, nah, nothing. He said, no, come on, now tell me what's going on. And I said, no, nothing, really. And he said, no, come on, come on, no, let's hear it. And I said, well, you get to make $90 million, and I get to watch. Mm. And that's kind of like what people feel like now. You know, you get, to, you get to see all these people be famous. So it's envy. Famous about money. Yeah. And power. Yeah. I don't care about the power so much. I really don't. And I'm way over the fame thing. I mean, I don't, I don't care if anybody ever sticks their nose in my salad. But I do care that I make a, a decent amount of money. Absolutely. And when I hear these gigantic figures thrown around, yeah. and then you see a whole city like Milwaukee, uh, is that where it is, where they're fighting the unions? No, well, it's, it, Madison is the, the capital. Yeah. yeah, well, the whole, in the Wisconsin. whole, the whole yeah. state, I guess. Yeah, and it's happening Probably. in Jersey, too. Well, you know, people are discontented all over anyway, and now that they see that they can be free, the mm -hmm. women are free now, as you probably see on the news, mm -hmm. in Egypt, really? and, they, and they have a different kind of a glow now, because they want to have their respect. Right. They don't want men barking at them and telling them what to do anymore. So there's that outrage. There's the young people wanting to not be a part, not, not participate in the, uh, in the old stuff. And there's the incumbents who continue to run the government and they, and they seem to have their hands on mm -hmm. everything and you can't get in easily. Mm -hmm. So there's that discontent. So, you know, the whole idea of changing jobs right now is a wonderful experience. It's not a bad experience. I just did it. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, well, you got fired too. I've been fired a lot of times. But you know what? When you say fired, I mean, you know, they didn't need me anymore because they wanted to make money with another show. Mm -hmm. and, and, they, and they figured they would make more with the other show than they would with me. There'd be less Well, staff. they were wrong. Yeah, they were wrong. But so what? Mm. You know, I mean, they, they made their choice, mm -hmm. and now they're going to live with that right. particular piece of business. Absolutely. But I, I, I'm thinking about... Uh, how, how we are so unhappy as a public right now in our country 
We, first we opened up the media to show everybody else's unhappiness across the sea. Mm -hmm. And now, because we see they got away with it, we are here. I think there's, starting, there's some validity know, there. Art imitates life. Yeah. And so we opened the door. Yeah. And we did it with China. You know, the guy was here last night, was on the show last night. You know, he was President Nixon's advisor to yes. China. Did mm -hmm. you know that? Yes, that I gentleman did. who was here? Yep. And, and he was, uh, Will, 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 what's his name again? Will, Wilbur. I forget well, it. Again. I can't remember his name. I don't have him. But me. but he was he was terrifically. He never said anything on the air about it. Mm -hmm. But you know we opened the door to China, and then we get mad when they do better than us. Yeah, and everything's made there. We and they're we, making the money, and they own the money that we have. And the things we do in in uh, in Mexico, we we get angry because they come over here and they want to partake of of this. You know, see, there's a NAFTA burger. <laughs> you ever you ever hear what that is? How does that taste? It's a taco with Canadian bacon. <laughs> we're, in the we're in the middle. All right, we're going to take a break and then bring Dave Koenig out here because he's really got comedy. Exactly. I just wanted to make these comments tonight because, yeah. you know, you can't watch television all day and still be normal. I know people who do, and they're not normal. No, you no. you got to sit there. You know, I, I think I may go back. I haven't had a drink in 30 years, but... <laughs> After tonight's show, you might. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm really seriously thinking about an IV. Oh, really? Yeah, with vodka. <laughs> uh, we're going to... We're going to... I'm going to leave the planet All on right. that discovery ship. All right, we'll, we'll take this break, and then David's coming out here in just a second. <laughs> Hi, Dave Koenig. I'm about to be on the Joey Reynolds Show. It's TV the way it ought to be, televised. celebrities have something to say, they head for the stoop. This is my stoop. I gotta come to the stoop. Talk stoop. I feel like we're so close that we could kiss. This is a whole other kind of stoop. Yeah. It's where Cat oh Greenleaf yeah. gets people talking. What? what? Really? Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. Listen, Naked, do you mind if I call you Naked? Tell me something good. The best of New York on a stoop in Brooklyn. The celebrity butts that have graced the stoop. Talk stoop. Weeknights at 8 on New York Nonstop. Sponsored by Cozy. Life should be delicious. I'm an anchor and a pilot. I am passionate about chocolate. I am a ballerina. I'm the daughter of a jazz musician. I am a four-time New York Golden Glove champion. I'm my grandpa. Yeah, I'm grandma. Like, I'm, I'm interested in the story behind the story. I'm making this look natural. I am glamorous. I'm an anchor and a blues girl. I am all about my craft. I am New York. I am New York. I'm a New Yorker. I am New York. I am New York. New Yorkers, LX New York. It's the story of the moment, a taste of the best. It's opening night, a helping hand, the characters of New York, the spirit of New York, told our way. LX New York, weekdays at five. We're all over town. Your jacket tonight. Howard Stern is on my show more than I am. I know, you we know, got him on the, on the on website. The website. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, when we do this thing with uh, the website, too, I, li I like to explain things because I think well, the reason I'm chatty tonight, frankly, is uh, because I watched a lot of television now that I'm on it again, 
And, and in watching it, I see that there's so very little explanation. It's the original, you had to be there joke. Yeah, they assume they, you know. They assume that we know everything. Right, you know, right. like we're all supposed to be experts at, at everything right. that, at, that everybody does. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I really, I, I, I got to say it very honestly. I don't give a rat's ass about Charlie Sheehan. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Some people do. I mean, I know. know he's very talented. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I'll tell you where I met him. And I forgot about it. All right, let's hear it. I met him at a Bikram yoga class, and really? I'm going to bring the tape in here tomorrow. Now, when I was getting sober, and I'm sober 30 years, 30-plus mm -hmm. years a day at a time, thank God. I remember. I want to tell you something. Again, this is an absolute gospel truth story. When I went back to yoga again mm -hmm. years later in L.A., and I was running a company in L.A., and I was commuting from Florida to Los Angeles, there was a class on Wilshire Boulevard, a Bikram yoga class. And one day in the class, which I was going to every day for my own health, it's an hour and a half in the hot room. Robert Downey Jr. came in mm -hmm. with his court appointed probation guy okay. and his trainer. And wow. they all had to put on their spandex and do what, the, what we all were doing. Really? All which of them? was an hour and a half in that heat during his getting sober part. You can ask him if you, if you yeah, see him. Yeah. Ask him about this. When he comes here one night, we'll talk about it. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know him. I just saw him in the class. Right, right. And he was just getting sober. Right. And it never, it didn't work for him that time. That time. It took a And then he had another couple mm -hmm. falls, and he mm -hmm. came back, another mm -hmm. fall. But, you know, the same thing's got to happen with this Jaboni. You've got to leave him alone. And I don't know why, you know, I, I'm talking about him tonight. I, I made it a couple days to not talk about him. Why are we making him entertainment? We have to stop doing that. You know, I watch those shows tonight. TMZ, is that? Yeah, that's, that's that. one. You know, I worked with that Mark Levine. Yeah. He's a pain in the ass. Well, it's... it's no, wait a minute. No, re no, really. I worked with him. Now, let's, you know, you want to talk about gossip. Let's gossip let's about Let's do him. it. This is dish. What a jerk. Yeah. When I worked with him in New York, in L.A., rather, I worked on KMPC. Mm -hmm. He was a lawyer. He had this hunger for show business. He could taste being on the air. It was like he would rather do, he'd kill his mother to have a show. That's the kind of guy he is. And now he's doing this gossip show where he ruins everybody's lives and makes a lot of money doing it and people are watching it and enjoying this. You can't enjoy watching a double homicide like we did for a year with O.J. Simpson. I know. You can't enjoy watching a guy get over drugged. But I think what are we doing in this to case with Charlie Sheen, I think he's probably the greatest actor of all time because he's been able to take this insanity that's going on that he created and is keeping it going and going no, and then see, the media that, fed on you're, it. You're just you're no. taking that as if it's as I, if he's that's my as, opinion. This is not his performance. Well if it's take a, the job you're getting forty grand a week for, which is the acting on the television. It was more than that. Well you don't whatever it, it is. About but, two million a week. But you don't go outside and, and act like that. I understand. You but, don't but he, because there's a whole he's, there's a, wait a minute. There's a whole country of people who are hurting right now. Sure. There's a country of people who are desperately going to meetings to get sober. Mm -hmm. There are people who have families. Losing their houses. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, but more, I'm talking about the addictions now. Right, the addiction. You, and and it's, it's just really not exciting to watch a guy He's die. He's crashing. He's crashing and burning. It isn't exciting. Yeah. You know, I mean, the exciting part is the recovery part. When you see somebody come back like Robert Downey Jr. Yes, he did. And you want to cheer for that guy. So I want to put the thing on the air here because they're not doing it on the other shows. The mm -hmm. other shows are trying to make sport of it. Now I've got to bring Dave out here. I know yeah. they're getting nervous. And that's too. one of the things that this show is doing. Well, I, 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 I took the time. We have a couple of hours. And I know that there are some people who don't want to hear this. And they flicked us off. And it's fine. And, and, and you know what? There are people in the control room doing it. But the rest of the show has its own... Well, now Rhythm we're, and body. You know, I just wanted to put that out there okay, because for fine. the sake of sanity, yeah. which is knowing right from wrong and practicing it, okay. that's what sanity is. Right. Knowing right from wrong and practicing it. It takes practice. If there's a moral to the show, that's it. All right, we, we got to bring out a guest. 30 minutes in and we didn't bring out a guest. So what? What does it matter if I sat here for two hours and didn't bring out a guest? What is this, something that, is there a, is there right. a rule here? Let's bring them in. Yeah, there is. Here's Dave Koenig. Come on, Dave. Come on out here. <laughs> is this happening? Is this yeah. televised? There he is, Mr. New York nonstop himself. I know. I am nonstop. Sit down, Dave. How are you, big fella? 
Well, you know, you got to know that Omar Gaddafi took three hours and nobody stopped him. <laughs> you know, Omar Gaddafi is the king of Twitter. Did you know that? He's out there Twittering even as we yeah. speak. Yeah, and t tweeting and Twittering, is yes. my, those, those are my two pastimes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> you get all choked up just thinking about it, don't you? I know, up. it's an upsetting topic. What happened? Is he having a stroke? No, he's fine. Okay. Mouth to mouth. <laughs> You're doing it. Oh, yeah. No, that's all right. So I was I was Chinese in the last life. I was known as on too long. On too long? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you got a lot to say. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Absolutely. you got to talk about the Charlie Sheen and the Muammar Gaddafi and the TMZ. You got, you all right, now, opinions. when you were on the air with your television show. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did you take the privilege of talking to people this way? No, no. Why? I, uh, well, the last show, I, which which one? I've had a couple of big TV deals over the years. Yeah. I had a show on the uh, now defunct Metro TV channel, which if you uh, hung out your window and wrapped aluminum foil around your head and tilted, tilted. just the right way, you might be able to pick that up. <laughs> Uh, called Subway Q&A, where I'd run around, kind of like what you did with, with Reynolds right. Rap. I'd yeah. go on a subway and I'd goof around and, yeah. and kibitz and, and uh, basically did what I, I did in high school, but got paid for it. So that was a good gig. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was paid to, to go this kind of time to talk to people on the air? Well, but that show was edited. For, you know, see, this show is unedited. Yeah. This is just, just is, you just let it all out, you spread it all around, and, and then it just invite people to dive in and, and just, just throw Joey on them. Yeah, but would you take a do, Joey bat? Would you do this? Would you t would you take that? Uh, would privilege? I take that? Uh, that you mean that? that if you had the show, I mean, if you were doing a show like this, would you? Would I would I open with a forty eight minute model? <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> was that how long it was? 48. No, but you got you got stuff to say. That's, you know, some people come on TV, they got nothing to say. You got things to say. <laughs> He's gonna spit his water out <laughs> on you. Yeah, it's all right. It's your show. You should. Oh, yeah, well, that's that's not a good excuse that it's your show. You know, I mean, that's not. But there was a reason for it. You had a place. You had. You know where you were going with it. I did, but. But no one else did. No, no one else. Did. And no, they were nervous. No, no, I think they do. I think that's the key. Pe people tune into this show because it is, in fact, called, you know, All Night with Joey Reynolds. That's not why they tune in. They tune in because they want to hear what you have to say. No, they tune in because there's nothing else on. There's absolutely nothing on. <laughs> they tune in because it's either this or an infomercial for a male enhancement product. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which are. We do the same thing here? This is kind of like the antidote, actually, for I, the male yeah, and <laughs> right. They'll get you going, and this will bring you to a grinding halt. <laughs> this replaced a million-dollar movie. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, but good for you. Good for you for having something to say. Yeah. It's important. Yeah, and, it's, and it is important, isn't it, to I, me? Absolutely. <laughs> because your opinion on, on global matters, people are waiting to hear. They're waiting all across the Middle East. What does Joey think? <laughs> and they're all... We don't know what to do. Should all, we revolt? Yes. Should we could throw in with the king? We don't know. What does Joey think? <laughs> in Tunisia, in Yemen, they're all waiting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be surprised. I know. If it's true. I mean, it might as well be. Absolutely. Uh, it makes as much sense as anything else. Are you coming That's back true. tomorrow night? Uh, it, it, am I coming back tomorrow yeah. night to this show? Yeah. Did you want me to come back tomorrow? Night? No. <laughs> no. Then I won't be here tomorrow night. I'm here at your at your uh, at, uh, by your leave. I'm going to. I'm going to. Whenever you we're want. We're having the people who are on the pilot. The pilot that got you the gig. Yeah. So you're having. No, it didn't get me the gig. That's, That's, no, it got me the, the pilot gig. That was, helped you get the gig. Yeah. No. No. The pilot that NBC liked. They liked uh, the pilot. Yeah. That's so you're, you're reuniting the cast. Which I wasn't pilot. on. Yeah. You weren't on no. that, but this is an improvement now that you're here. Thank you. See, we've ta you've <laughs> taken that and yeah. now you've improved it. But it, I was on your original pilot right. that you showed to NBC, and despite that, you got the gig. So, you know, congratulations. <laughs> a really good job. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we I think a... we're doing that in a couple of days, actually. Oh, okay. But yeah. you're coming back for that, right? I will be back for that, yes, sir. Whatever yeah, you need. You, I, I, I won't do the 48-minute monologue. No, That's no. Do whatever you want. <laughs> this is like a you. famous monologue now, you know. The, what you did today. Oh, yeah. yeah, it'll be on, it'll be Listen, on YouTube. Listen, these people got excited about it. They they're did. out on the streets. They're going, yay, Joey, more. <laughs> do more monologue. That's what they're saying. Exactly. No, they, the they have no sound. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on. No. We turn the sound off, you know. Yeah. During the rant. Are you going to broadcast it out onto the street? Yes, the we did it the other night. We've been doing it a little bit at a time. Yeah. It, it goes very well. You yeah. get a crowd around, especially when there's some pretty girls singing. That's you know. great. That's great. And or a major star. Right. You know, we're going right. to put some people in the window. That's going to. Yeah. Who do you get for me and Jay, uh, Jay here? Some there's homeless guy. There's a, a homeless <laughs> guy and the and the hot dog man that's from it. Egypt. <laughs> no, yes. it's it's fun to have uh, a showcase and to be in a window.
Absolutely. Absolutely. You're you're like uh, you're like uh, the sale of the day. Yeah. Here you are. Specific, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I but I'm called, excited for you. I'm well, excited I know you are. Well, you're excited to be working on the air right I'm now. I'm excited just to be out of the house. I yeah, got four kids. It. Any excuse to get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of kids. Four yeah, kids. Really? Four. I what have four kids. What oh, yeah. thinking? It's uh, it's ostentatious. You don't really need that many children, quite frankly. No. Did you tell them that? Well, you know what? We had we, we, we thought we were done at three, yeah. uh, but apparently we were wrong because we brought home baby number four, and we named the baby Oops, Joey. <laughs> oh, no Oops. Good. No That's good. always good when you let the last one know he's an accident. You know? uh, yeah, yeah, you're not a, a good idea. You're a happy little accident. And they're in therapy for the rest of their lives. You're life. a late-in-life miracle child. <laughs> you're going to community college. <laughs> These are jokes, Joey. Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's I thought I'd coma. throw them out there. <laughs> Not throw them back in. All right. I'm still on the monologue. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't listening, and neither was the rest of America. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a lot. You, were, you had to express your opinion on Charlie Sheen, right. and that was important. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah. uh, because, you know, God knows no one has an opinion on Charlie Sheen these days. No. So, <laughs> so that's something. I have an opinion. Here's my opinion. Everyone's talking about the, the whole. Here's. My, and I, I have no expertise. I'm not, I'm not a doctor of any right. kind. Never played one on TV. Never, no, no, never played one on TV. Here's, here, I think, and I'm going out on a limb here, Charlie Sheen, I think he's got some issues. That's what I think. Is that it? I think he's got some issues. issues. Take. That's my concern about them. I'm, mo I'm mostly concerned about Martin Sheen. He's probably going to die from all this. From Martin Sheen? Well, it's <laughs> tough. It's tough. Martin Sheen, well. You Remember know, him? I, well, he works. He's been the president. He works, Martin Sheen, right. doesn't he? The one that doesn't work is Emilio. He never works. Right? <laughs> Emilio's probably sitting by the phone going, hey. what's CBS's number? I'll call him up. Yeah. Oh, I could do that. He's job. got his agent on the phone you know. saying, hey, get me some. Get me in there. there. You know. uh, did you watch The Prince on television today? The Prince? The Prince, yes. The Prince of... Uh, today is the beginning of Lent, you know. Oh, they had the yes. pancake thing. Yeah. Shrove Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, and in who England. came down for that? The, the Prince The Prince of England? bride-to-be. Oh, uh, Harry? Yeah. And Prince Harry and, and Kate Middleton. Yes. yes that they, yeah, were, soon to be, uh, they were flipping pancakes. God bless them. Which go. is what everybody else does in this country when they don't have a Wait, good Oh, were they here in America? They, no, the, the in kids? England. Oh, they, they were back in England. England. Yeah. But he's got something very, very special. Yeah, he's got a nice, nice, uh, nice... Uh, uh, well, she's special. Him? She's a nice... He's, yeah. got, he's got a bald spot. Oh, he does. So do I. Yes. He does, yeah. And he shows it. Yeah. Famously, he does not try to hide that. Then why should he? What does he care? He's going to be the king of England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what, what does he care? The guy's richer than 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 the. Uh, he, he can buy Rogaine. <laughs> he can <exactly>. the company. <laughs> exactly. He's got nothing to gain. Rogaine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess we got to take a break here again. Is that right? You know, yeah. why don't you do another monologue? <laughs> We're here. We got the cameras. Don't there's microphones. Him, don't Go ahead. No. Who's coming out here, guys? Would anyone like to tell me? I don't know who's What's next. happening next on the Joey Reynolds show? Yes. Yeah. Who? Oh. Akiani is here? Yes. Okay, good. Then we this can talk a little exciting. bit about Oh, this is Akiani's really got a body and a half. Is that right? And, yeah. and the troop with her. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You're going to want to sit And they're right going right to sing? She's going to do... You should not move. Oh, she's going to interview first, and then she's going to sing. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you for the format. <laughs> I'm just trying to get clarification here. Uh, we're, we're all just trying to ensure no, that you don't you do really another monologue. What you're really trying to do is to get me to validate your parking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a successful show. That's a good show. Yeah. Yeah. We'll you be, don't get towed away. We'll be right back. <laughs> we're we're going to take our little break now, and then I'll be back with my famous monologue. <laughs> My name is Akayani, and my act is called A Kindy in the Tom Glide Space, and we're going to be giving you a little yoga on the dance floor, which is a combination of house music and yogic transcendence. I sing in Sanskrit and Bengali, and it's a lot of fun. Am I supposed to say something more? <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Hasselbeck. If you're like me, you probably don't have a lot of free time to exercise and keep yourself in shape. For me, the answer is the Ab Glider from Proform. I can't tell you how much I love this amazing machine. It's a great fat-burning cardio workout, too. And it's fun. Unlike other ab machines, the Ab Glider combines circular and crunch motions for a fast, fun workout of your entire midsection. You engage more muscles, get a better cardio workout, and burn twice the calories of other ab machines. I went from an 11 to a size 4. 20 inches total. 
It's really easy and it's fun. With this offer, you'll get an onboard workout computer, Elizabeth's three minute rapid results DVD, and her amazing abs instructional DVD, plus her amazing abs eating guide, a $159 value free. Try the ab glider now for 30 days, risk free for as little as $14.95. If you're not totally satisfied, you can return it for a full refund. You can't find a better way to get better abs at a better price. And getting started is easy. Just call or go online to proform.com. Are you holding the remote right now? It's nice to be in control, isn't it? To fast forward to the good parts? Oh, hold on. We're getting to the good part. If you're receiving a structured settlement from a lawsuit, you know it is not easy to wait for payments, especially when it could be 10 or 20 years before you collect all your money. What you may not know is that you can skip ahead and receive a lump sum of cash now. Call CBC Settlement Funding for a free, no obligation offer about your structured settlement. Whether you access all or just a portion of your future payments, we put you in control so you can fast forward and collect your money now. If you need cash now, call the number on your screen and find out how CBC Settlement Funding can help. We'll guide you through the process so you can take control of your finances and get your money faster. Call CBC Settlement Funding today. Well, you know, like it's this. like the Today <laughs> Show, except it's tonight. Right. It's tonight. And yeah. it's not the Tonight Show that's taken. No, it can't no. be the Tomorrow Show that's, that's been that. Taken, no. Yeah. Uh, it can't be the Yesterday Show so because Joe no, Franklin no. did that. Right. Uh, and we were going to call this Good Night America. That's what I wanted to call this. Thing. That would be a good name. Or three weeks from next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, a month from Tish Above would be a good name. <laughs> or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> or this time right after Shavuos would be nice. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you must be Jewish. You got all those. <laughs> I, got, I got them all in there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you is did. Ekayani, uh, uh, the way you say her name, well, is, it, is that a Jewish name? I don't know. I don't know. Bring we're, her out here. It sounds out. very Indian. Yeah. Me, but we'll we, find out in a minute and I'll be corrected. Yeah, well, of course we uh, will. It's Ekayani well, we is don't here tonight right. yeah. and, uh, and bringing with her, let's see, there's some other people with mm -hmm. her. I don't know what these names well, are. Let's see. Just her. Just her for now. So, oh, just her. And yeah, then, sure. And then we have uh, the. Uh, then you have Echinacea. Uh, Tom, no, the the Tom Glide Echinacea. space. <laughs> Something you take, have a cold. Akiana, come on out here. Oh, here Open she the door. Oh, here she comes. Open the door. Oh, yes. I hope I'm saying her name right. Hello. Oh, my goodness. How spectacular. Hey. Wow. Hey. You know, hey. But we're Hi, getting it right? wrong, am I? Hey there. Hi. So nice to see you. Is it Akiani? Oh, yes. Oh, I said it right. Good. Yeah, you got it go. right. See? Hello, how are you? you said over very very well. sparkly. Hi, Thank how you. Are you? Yeah, nice Akiani, to meet you. It's, uh, it's a beautiful outfit you have on there. And, uh, Thank you. I know that this is your first appearance on our show. We've never met before. And you may never come back. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have that effect on people. It's the uh, Buffalo. I was, I'm from Buffalo. It's a lake effect. You know, you never want to see this again. <laughs> No, but seriously, you're you're here with the uh, with the gang. You know, I was I did an awful long monologue tonight. Well, it wasn't a monologue. I mean, I, I gave my thoughts. I shared. You know, we're glad sharing. you we're glad you shared. That's See? why at the twelve step meetings they have a three minute limit <laughs> because of the sharing. Hey, there's an idea. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> what, what do you? What do you do? Um, I'm a vocalist for an act called a Kayani in the Tom Glide space. So it's a Kayani. It's okay. You make know, up your make mind. it your own, right? Make it your own. It's a Kayani. Yeah, and I uh, work with a guy who is a French house music producer. So we've combined um, a, a yoga theme. I sing in Sanskrit and Bengali wow. with house music, and have made it very danceable. Well, that please about four people. <laughs> <laughs> a very specific demographic. Yeah, I mean, that's a short crowd. Well, actually, um, house music is great club music. It's great music for yeah. dancing. So we deliberately um, released the album of the Amsterdam dance event a couple of years back and got a great four-star review in the club section, actually. Is that Amsterdam actually, in, in, in the Netherlands? In the Netherlands, yeah. Yeah. So you were there where all those people are going to see sex. They walk around naked, There's right? more than just sex in the Netherlands. I'm here to represent Amsterdam. There's a lot more. There's great museums. There's great food. Yeah. There's culture. There's a lot of and there's a lot of good music. House music is huge in the Netherlands. 
And it's Dutch. one of the biggest industries there, actually, hey, as a music hey. scene. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's, it's a lovely place. I've never been to Amsterdam. No? But I have friends from there. They come here and report to me. And they do have a, they do have a great culture. It's Dutch people, you know, the Dutch. I, I think they had this place once. Yes, they did. Yes. This, it, was, this was called Amsterdam. Well, we have a lot of more. We have a lot more bike lanes here in New York, if you noticed. Yeah. So uh, I think we're we're going back in the direction of the Dutch. It's a great place to visit, and if you have the opportunity to go, definitely go. It's wonderful. Did the Dutch? The Dutch? Did the, the hey. Dutch had a lot of bike lanes? Is that? Oh, bikes rule in in yeah. the Netherlands. Oh, they okay. have their own lanes. They have their own traffic lights. I almost lost my life actually the first day I was there because I was very busy gawking at everything and the person I was with grabbed me and I just sort of felt a whoosh go by in front of my face so they definitely you know have priority you do have to pay attention but it's a wonderful thing they have wonderful fresh air and I think people are probably in better shape and a little stressed, less stressed out than us because they, they get that exercise in that well, way as part of their daily routine. Cash all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a mayor here who uh, who believes in that. You know, we have bike lanes now in New York. We didn't used to have them. Hallelujah! Before. Yes. We have a bus lane, a bus lane also. I love biking, so I'm yeah. very happy about that. It's actually a lane for my car. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, we have we have a, a an organized city now, as you probably have seen. When's, where do you live? Uh, I live in Brooklyn. Yeah, these so days. You, I mean, you experience what's going on here. You're not living overseas. No, I mean, not, that's, not a, that's a tough one when you're using euros. Euros, uh, form of money. We have American dollar, which is a form of money. Still, I know. I know that there's not a lot of it going around right now. Yes, that is true. But where are you performing? Where do we see you? Uh, the next place I'm going to be performing, for those people that are in New England, I'm going to be in Mystic, Connecticut this weekend. Yeah. Um, it's a double bill, and the Mystic Independent Theater and the Mystic Yoga Shala. I'm going to be there with John Halpern, who's a film director. who has oh, got yeah. a great movie called Refuge, which features the Dalai Lama and Martin Scorsese. Yeah. And then April 2nd, I'm going to be back in New Haven. I want to give a big shout out to New Haven, because a lot of the dancers and the yogis that are with me tonight are from New Haven. There's a wonderful scene up there. So that's the story. Not bad pizza either. No. Fantastic <coughs> pizza. We went to Frank Pepe's. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I did sex week at Yale. Excuse uh, me. A couple of years ago. And then we went out yeah. for pizza. There you go. <laughs> that in. I know. It has I an get effect from, on people. We went from pizza to sex <laughs> week. Like that. Yeah. Well, that's, that's you what know, I got bike lanes. I had sex week. <laughs> Just work it in there. It's anyway. kind of like the monologue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, they're, they're making fun of me tonight. I must be. I think you asked for it. Yeah, I really. Asked for it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to sing? I am going to sing. If I can have? get my voice back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't take, sing. Take a, a moment. Take some of our vodka. Yeah. Okay. Go. There you go. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Now, what is that? Amstel? That's That's good. Good. <laughs> that'll, no, that'll clear your pipe shot. That's some Dutch cleanser That's right pure, there. That's yeah. pure New York water right here. So who do you have with you? Well, tonight I've got uh, some great yogis and dancers. I've got Michelle Schick, <clears throat> who is from Sacred Brooklyn. Yeah, um, and she also <laughs> takes a class with uh, one of our Bikram Yoga guys. You know. Oh, that's right. Rudy. She does. Yeah. That's right. And then I've got Barry Raccio, <clears throat> excuse me, Kelly Hanna, yeah. and Vanessa Soto, who drove all the way down from New Haven today to do this. They are, were very warm, I and we're going to have a great time together. In the hall. They were warming yeah, up. Yeah, they're very it good. Was, it was well good. Bound. The dancers. So let's let's, yeah. let's yeah. take a little break, and then we'll come back, and we'll bring them out here, and, uh, and you can do your thing, all right? Thank you so Wonderful. much. So and happy Sanskrit, to be here. And Sanskrit, incidentally, is a beautiful language. I know we didn't say too much about it, but it's something that's an ancient language. Sanskrit? It is. Yeah. Can you say anything? It is. Do you know anything? Well, there's, there are, there's prose, you know, there, uh, there's sayings, there are proverbs. The answer is no, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but fake it, because they won't know the difference. <laughs> if you say, we'll be right back in Sanskrit, they'll think you're the amazing. <laughs> they don't know. There you it's, go. That's it's good. It's a language of, in English of love. Uh -huh. Ah. It's uh -huh. saying Of divine things, love, yes. Divine love. It's poetic. And it has prose. Mm. I don't want to be sounding like a professor at NYU tonight. Mm. No, that's wonderful that you said that. I'm actually going to be singing in Bengali this evening. Yeah. I'm going to be singing a song called Parama Karuna that was written by a poet named Naratam Das Thakur that lived during the 15th century, who also was fluent in Sanskrit, 
but he wrote in the you know the common language of the day. So that's where we're going to be doing it, but it's going to be pumping. All right, that's coming up. Good. All right. Well, we'll Thanks. be right back, and we'll have a little bit of some we'll have some culture for a yeah. change. <laughs> some and pumping Sanskrit. Besides you eating yogurt, hurt. <laughs> yoga. Dvorkin, the founder of Consolidated Credit. For almost two decades, Consolidated Credit has helped millions of Americans just like you. We've helped nurses and doctors. We've helped police officers and firefighters. We've helped homemakers and home builders. We've helped over five million people suffering from credit card debt. And now we want to help you. Consolidated Credit is the one company you can trust. Our exclusive Freedom Quest program can help you find options and solutions to your financial challenges. We can reduce your monthly payments by up to 50%, consolidate your bills into one easy payment, save you thousands in interest and fees, and help you get out of debt fast. When credit card debt is the problem, we're the solution. We've helped over 5 million people. Let us help you. You're one call away from financial freedom. Call Consolidated Credit now. 1-800-440-2181. 1-800-440-2181. Hi, I'm Joey Reynolds. I got a brand new show. It starts on television after about 14 years on radio on NBC's New York Nonstop. It's called All Night. That's when we're on. Between midnight and 2, Monday through Friday. And what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ market site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop. Computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. Experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades, and new custom-built PC desktops and Macs. Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. Somebody thought we were having Yanni here tonight. <laughs> Yanni. Uh, the, the Dalai Lama, who was famous for being the uh, prince of peace in, in that wonderful place in China, which is now called China, but it was the Dalai Lama's uh, headquarters in the Himalayas right at the very peak. Uh, there was a, a, a perch with monasteries and love and, and, and so many good things, and the uh, Chinese government decided that they were going to bust their chops, and they came in and they disrupted the, uh, the whole land. And the people have remained faithful to the Dalai Lama. And you know, every year in New York, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, there's a concert at Carnegie Hall, and uh, mostly, I, I think, Richard Gere used to do them. I don't think he does them every year anymore. But, you know, there, there's a lot of fans of the Dalai Lama because he represents, as Mother Teresa did, a piece of soul. And, uh, and celebrating that is this kind of music and this dance. It's an expression. And, and the art is, is uh, just, we're, we have so much of it. And I want to present it here, and I wanted to set it up so you don't turn the TV off. Because, you know, we, we need to really sometimes be patient. And that's, that's in itself a practice. And tonight I'm a little preachy, but you know what? After watching television all day and seeing all these mindless shows, I think it's my duty and obligation to get on the air and, and explain things to people. And that's what I'm doing. So here's Ekiani in the Tom Glide space. singing a song called Parma Karuna.
Parma Karuna means very merciful. Extremely merciful. But who's merciful these days? Karuna. Paha Dui John, two divine brothers, Jaitanya and Itai, started this, what we like to call, disco for yogis, or yoga on the dance floor, about 500 years ago. So if you're feeling it at home, just move. Sat, 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 
Karma Karuna. Parma Karuna. Parma Karuna. Parma Karuna. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Wow. You know, wow. it's a funny thing. When my wife and I got married, that was our wedding song. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Donna Summer meets Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> you meet the guy in the back. He looks like. No, it's an amazing act because you got, you got good looking girls to, for the, and then you got the beefcake over right, there for exactly. the ladies to look at. Yeah. So it's got everything. And, it's she, got, and she's a good looking. It's wonderful. Please. I'm glad I didn't go to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired watching you. So what happened at that wedding? It was great. We all got out. We did. We danced to that. We, we did Sanskrit, and it was fantastic. <laughs> and then so, we uh, had it annulled, and that was. <laughs> <laughs> so at the Jewish weddings, they have yes. a, a chair. Yeah. Where they, they carry the guy around yeah. on the chair. That's what they do at the Jewish wedding. Show. And you carry the girl around on the chair. Yeah. Separately, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But my wife is Irish, so we we had a, we, we 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 eloped is what we did. Uh huh. And then we got married again later on uh, with uh, with her uncle, who's a priest, and I got married in the Catholic Church, and uh, then then the uh, the uh, the holy water started to bubble up <laughs> and smoke started to come out of it. No, it was it was a pleasant affair. But that was our song. We we sang we sang to that. We danced and we did the we did yoga. It was fantastic. That song is longer than my than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, but it was, but more, it's beautiful. It was beautiful. It's, it's it was artistic. spiritual. Yes. And it was uh, lovely. It was did a lovely you, thing. Did you learn something from this? And it's funny the way they're just standing there while we're talking about them. Yeah. It's well, awkward, isn't they, it? Because they can. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like do you like this kind of stuff? I mean, are you interested in taking yoga? Uh, am I interested? In, sure. Well, what what's the big pose in yoga? Is the big, what what is it? Wh there is, are twenty six of them. What's the big? What's the main pose? Is there a main? There's one? no main one. Like, what's that the one. what's the warrior? Is there a war? What's the no, no, warriors no, no, no. like That's this? Another kind of yoga. That's not this kind of yoga. No. This is good. Do you have? Is there any pose in yoga where you just? Is there like a like an exhausted warrior? You know, like <laughs> no, that's me. Yeah, but like warrior lying on a couch watching TV. I could do that. Yeah, there you go. See, that's I could do that. That's it. I know. I know what I'm going to get Dave for his birthday. I'm going to get you a, a jock strap that bursts into a hammock. <laughs> We're gonna, I don't even know what that That's means. A, no, but it's good. We'll, it it we'll, works. We oh. will be right back <laughs> with Dr. Dale Archer. Thank you. And then we'll go to the park and we'll take socks and all the Hi, I'm Dr. Dale Archer. I've been brought in to analyze the effects of tiger blood and Adonis DNA. I will be analyzing Charlie Sheen, possibly, quite possibly, curing him on the air. Hi, I'm fitness celebrity Jennifer Nicoli. And if you're busy like me, then stay tuned because I'm excited to share with you the most innovative piece of exercise equipment ever. Introducing the Ab Circle Pro, the fastest, easiest way to have the flat washboard abs and the sexy V-shape you've always wanted. Are you struggling to lose those love handles nobody loves? Now there's a machine so advanced, it targets your entire core, upper, middle, and lower abs, and even your obliques, all in one circular motion as it aerobic burns fat in just minutes a day. The secret is the Ab Circle Pro combines cardio and abs to burn fat, while its unique friction-free track uses the momentum of gravity to target your entire midsection in a full circular motion, firing your core like no other machine has ever done. You'll firm and flatten your stomach in just weeks, not months. We guarantee it. Best of all, it's fun and easy and takes just three minutes a day. And watch this. 
Simply remove the pin, and the Ab Circle Pro becomes a fat-burning bun and thigh machine. On the Ab Circle Pro, I lost almost three dress sizes in a few short weeks. With the Ab Circle Pro system, I've now lost 60 pounds, I feel great, and I'm one hot mama. And now, through this exclusive TV offer, the Ab Circle Pro can be yours to try in your home for 30 days for just $14.95. And if you call within the next 10 minutes, we'll send you Jennifer Nicole Lee's complete Lose Your Love Handle System, which includes our three-minute express workout and nutritional guide absolutely free. That's everything you need to transform that body from flab to ab. You have nothing to lose but inches, so pick up the phone and call now. Call 1-800-709-1301 to try Absicle Pro for $14.95 plus shipping with credit card order. Call now for a free upgrade to priority processing so you'll get your Absicle system in 7 to 10 days or less. That's 1-800-709-1301. Call now. We got Dr. Dale Archer coming out here. He's one of the great ones, and he's going to help us straighten us out a little bit. Yeah. But before we do that, there's a very important piece of business here. Dave Koenig's got an appearance. Oh, oh please. You actually have a gig. Where are you I have a be? gig. Where are you going to be? I'm going to be at the Metropolitan Room, March 23rd. It's a 9:30 show. It's going to be a great, uh, great show. And uh, call why do you have to read it? I, because remember? I forget. No, I forgot the phone number for reservations. Oh, don't uh, give the phone number. That's don't give the phone number. number. March 23rd, Metropolitan Room, 9:30. What a show it's going to be! It'll Can you be imagine exciting. being on the Tonight Show and you're going to give a phone number? Well, what yes. Do they put a phone number on the screen with no, Jay Leno. No, don't call. Just show up. Come on. Look it up online. Yeah, that's well, what is the phone? 206-0440. That's 206-0440 in the 212 area code. But that's real stupid to get a phone number on the other one. Well, they've got to make reservations because it's going to sell out if a lot of people show up and buy tickets. That's it. Yeah, and you'll be able to feed those four kids. All four of them. Here's no. Dr. Dale Archer. Oh this is Dr. Great. Archer, come on. we got, we got a tight schedule. We'll give him a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, how are you? Doing good. Welcome to the uh, Monkey House. How are you? Yeah, tonight. I know. It uh, sounds know. quite exciting here. Uh, I don't know. We're creating, oh, our hey. own, All right. yeah. we're creating our own anger and excitement. Are you? <laughs> yeah. so I guess that's why I'm here. we got to see you professionally. <laughs> so are you a psychiatrist, right? Yes. I, that means you can give out meds. I can prescribe. Yeah, yeah. I can. Which but is why they wanted me to be here to talk to you. <laughs> You got the right guy. <laughs> they said to say it was about Charlie Sheen, but really it's all no, about you. No, know, you know, I've refrained. I didn't, you know, and I thought that uh, anonymity is the key. And I figured to not say anything about him for a couple of days, I got so aggravated watching all these shows about him now. Yeah. And, ever, and I'm saying to myself, what, when are we going to stop this? We're not. Until he dies or gets help. What are mm -hmm. we doing? What, I mean, it's, it keeps him sick. Yeah, you know, I think, though, it's the reality show culture that we live in in America today. Yeah. And it's not enough to have a TV show. I mean, you're performing all the time because that's what reality shows are. And I think in his brain, in his drug-addled brain, there, the lines have been blurred. And it, there is no show anymore. It's all Charlie Sheen. I mean, and he literally thinks he's the greatest talent ever to appear on TV and that people should listen to every single thing he says. I mean, and it's not going to stop. It I started a little stop. of that tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, I heard, and I was glad to hear you because, you know, I just, I think that people don't understand why they watch him. No one gets that. And, they, and the reason why is that in our deepest, darkest recesses of our brain, in our reptilian brains, you know, there's a part of us that wants to party and go wild and be crazy and do fun stuff all day long and tell our bosses to, you know, get lost and do whatever we want to do. But most of us have a logical brain that says, yeah, you can't do that. But, you know, we live vicariously through him, especially the younger generations. Those are the ones who are really tapped into him. You know, two million Twitter followers in, in a week. I mean, he's what? huge right now. Well, you know, that, that doesn't make you anything. It, it doesn't make you anything. You know, what makes you something is when you think well of yourself. But, you know, you, and, but, and, 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 and uh, self-esteem is not based on self anyway. It's based on what other people think of you, which is wrong. And I just contradicted it. Well, I, I t talk at schools, and yeah. you know, I ask kids today, and these are junior high, high school, what do you want to be when you grow up? Famous. Mm -hmm. I want to be yeah. famous. Right. So famous is something in and of itself in today's world. 
it's not right. 30 years ago, you had to have a talent to be famous. Now, you become famous by being on TV, by acting crazy, by doing stupid things. You know, you're on a reality can, show. Can we get honest for a minute? Yeah, we I've can. had a lot of therapy. Okay. And I love you. Okay. And I, I do. And I want to, but I want to say something. Okay. Having said that. I, I, mean, right, right. I do this a lot. This doesn't sound good. This I doesn't do sound good. I do a lot good. of this work because I'm an older guy. Yeah. In my earlier days, I'm not going to jog you through my past. Okay. That but you could. Cost me a lot of money. No, that's all right. No, no, but no, in no. my earlier days, I acted out big time. Yeah. And and now, and I expect people to act out, including my own kids. Right. I expect it. It's part of growing up. It's yes. part of maturing. Well, and that's how you learn where the lines are. Yeah. You learn and the, the line, boundaries the line, are different the boundary, than borders. That, you're right. And I have a different kind of a of a idea about this right now with okay. me. Okay. All right. And that is that I think that, uh, I think a lot, first of all. Well, that's good. I think a lot. I meditate, and I yeah. think a lot. Yeah. And I don't act favorably. I, but I want to say something. What I've learned to do most recently is to not gossip. Right. And that's only in the last couple of years. And I really, I don't, I mean, in real life, I've known around here, I don't gossip about people. Right. I, I'm not, I don't do right. that. Nope. But I learned it long, you know, a long time ago. I didn't know yeah. that. And that's hard to learn. And the other thing is that this world right now, unfortunately, is built on BS. It's built on gossip. Right. Right now. It is. I agree. That's what I'm saying. That's why reality TV is so big right now, because it's not about who you are, what you do, or whether you have a talent. It's about if you can be crazy enough for people to want to watch you. And now, then you get a TV you, show. You know, when I got it. fired in Buffalo, I had the highest ratings in history. And I nailed my shoes to the door of the manager's door <laughs> and I said fill these <laughs> and that's what I did I can picture you with the hammer and the nail and like I, actually and I was a big there. star yeah yeah I had a 60 share Ooh, wow and it was and it was the biggest money maker for Cap Cities who bought ABC so why'd you get fired because I was arrogant yeah. and when you're arrogant people can only put up with so much of it like Charlie Sheen right now right that's why they fired him yeah they fired him for his arrogance not because they thought they would save his life I got fired for my arrogance. I can relate to this. Yeah. That's why I'm passionate about it. I know where this goes. I know that road. But you know what? I mean, uh, we both know that if Charlie gets a little bit of help, that they'll be taking him back on that show like that. Well, I mean, you know but, that. But the goal you know is that. not to get taken back on the show. Well, the goal is to get sober. Yeah. Well, because no, no. I'm saying if he gets help. If he gets help and... How can you get help when you're in public? You know, they call yeah. it in the 12-step program, Garage Sobriety. It doesn't work. But you were talking about Martin Downey Jr. You got to give this guy credit for a guy who every bit as bad as Charlie Sheen. Robert Downey Jr. Robert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every bit as bad. But he bad. went private. But he, but he made it. Right. After but he, he made went it. private. Yeah. And the same with, with uh, Anthony Hopkins. When you go private, you make it. You don't make it until you go private. But I think the two go hand in hand. I think that you go into treatment and you go private, and that's when it comes to you. But, you, you know, yeah, you go private, but you're in treatment at the same time. You don't all of a sudden go private and then say, and keep drugging and drinking. I mean, I, I think have, it all happens at once. I have a lot of program in me because I'm sober 30 years. Yeah. And I have a daughter in rehab right now, and I'm uh, involved because it's a family disease. Yeah. That's why I said about Martin Sheen earlier. Yeah. You know, no, it's, it's a family it's disease. Genetic, it course. doesn't come from, I mean, you know, we're Mars. not authors. <laughs> right, no, you're right. Uh, I, I'm not an original. But you know what? When you, when you go into an anonymous situation, you have a better shot of being sober and being sane. But I think the, the, you're right. But Betty Ford is not, a, there's no camera at Betty Ford. Right, but, the, and, but there's, you, you have to get rid of your ego to get sober, too. Because if you believe that you are bigger, better, more famous, more rich, more powerful than everyone else, and the rules don't apply to you, you're not going to get sober. But, but it has to bring you down to earth. But the, correct me if I'm wrong. From what, I, from what I've read in magazines and such, the, the, root, the root of all alcoholism addiction is an obsession with self. You're self-obsessed and you're living inside your own little world in your own little brain. I mean, if you're a bum on the Bowery or if you're Charlie Sheen, it's all really the same. It's, it's this self-obsession. And he's, what we're seeing with him now is just the ultimate expression of that self-obsession on a grand scale. But you're not saying one scale. thing about it. There's more. Yeah. It's a progressive disease. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And, I, and yeah. I would argue that it, it's genetic first and foremost now. I mean, yeah. we know now this is DNA-based. It's genetic. I mean, it runs in families. And so that's that's the number My one My father thing would have a six-pack after he came home from work at yeah. the steel plant. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's part of it. You know, I mean, and then you go out drinking on the weekends. And it's it's you inherit it. So I agree with you. Uh, yeah, I agree. absolutely. But, you know, you got to talk like this instead of the other way. The other way is just insanity. Well, but he, he's rapidly approaching the point of uh, where he's going to fall off a cliff. So because you know I watch his videos every day and the one this morning this guy looks like he's on the verge of becoming psychotic I mean he is so far out there well, he's all uh, out, if he right? goes he's coke looking, probably yeah, yeah. Although the rumor really? is coke but I mean he take one more step he's gonna be he, he'll be hallucinating delusional and then they'll they can force him into treatment he'll have to go into treatment because he will meet criteria for being gravely disabled and I, I think he's one step away from that I really do well you know you have both uh, uh, Omar Gaddafi acting out and Charles yeah, Sheehan right. at the same speed. <laughs> yeah, These yeah. guys could co-host the Oscars. <laughs> Absolutely. And it would you know, be a much I mean, more interesting Oscar broadcast yeah, that's right, than the one they just had. Yeah, and, sure. and they're two old timers. Can, can yeah. Bernie Madoff get in there too? Because Bernie, I mean that no, guy about, a good man. That Bernie guy Madoff has just, become a consultant to the uh, <laughs> to the prisoners now. You know, I I am sure they all have a, a new way of financing in well, jail. <laughs> well I will tell you I used to be a prison psychiatrist back in oh. my early days and he, I don't know if you guys saw the New Yorker article that was written on him yeah. that just came out, but you know, he's saying that, well, yeah, they really admire me here and respect me. And look, in prison, anyone who can possibly help you in any way, shape, or form, you're going to admire mm -hmm. and like or pretend to admire and like right. because you know what? Maybe he gets out, maybe he can do him a favor. So this is prison psychology. This is the way prisons work. Anyone who can possibly help you who has money, power, any influence at all, yeah, you're going to suck up to him. And that's what's happening to Bernie mm -hmm. right now. Do, do I, did I read right? Is Jennifer Shane coming out here? Yeah. No relation to these guys, is it? <laughs> <laughs> to Martin or his uh, crazy son? It's pronounced Notice differently. I'm, I don't know. Sheen. <laughs> I see, now I'm that, jumping on the that's train. That's Sheen and then Sheehan. Yeah. Oh, Sheehan. It's two different. Sheehan. All right. Uh, so hang in there. We'll be okay. right back. All right. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Hi, do you like uh, standards and songs from the Great American Songbook? My name is Jennifer Sheehan, and I'll be singing one of my favorites from a show that I'll be opening uh, this Thursday at the Metropolitan Room. BAM's Auto Body, located on Liberty Avenue in Ozone Park, is a one-stop shop equipped with all the latest technologies to fix your car or truck right the first time. We work with all major insurance companies and specialize in collision, theft, and vandalism repair. Call anytime to check your vehicle status. Speak with our dedicated and knowledgeable staff. We offer a 100% written guarantee on all repairs and a lifetime warranty on all paint repairs. BAM's Auto Body, we'll get your vehicle fixed no matter what. Computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. Experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades, and new custom-built PC desktops and Macs. Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. Hi, I'm Joey Reynolds. I got a brand new show. It starts on television after about 14 years on radio on NBC's New York Nonstop. It's called All Night. That's when we're on. Between midnight and 2, Monday through Friday. And what the show is called is All Night with Joey Reynolds. We're actually doing the show from the NASDAQ Market Site, which is at 43rd and Broadway in Times Square. This is a show worth staying up for all night with Joey Reynolds on NBC's New York Nonstop.
<laughs> it's Jennifer Sheehan. Sheehan, not Sheen. And of course, uh, Michael Feinstein discovered her at Carnegie Hall. You did a performance with her. And I, I guess, uh, you know, I wanted to keep you away from the other guys so I could have you alone for me. <laughs> and you made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> so it's 100 years of great music. And of course, in our Carnegie Hall was George Gershwin, and, mm -hmm. and he was one of the great ones. Exactly. Uh, you're too young to know George. No, not personally. You did not date George. <laughs> no. You didn't no, date didn't. George's son. But I love him. You didn't date George's grandson. <laughs> I don't think you had any. And Ira, you didn't, get, you didn't know Ira Gershwin, <laughs> which is not his wife's name. Right, right, of course. Are you going to be uh, singing one of these great songs tonight? I am. Uh, this is a song that comes from a show that I'm going to be debuting at the Metropolitan Room. Oh, uh, everybody's working there. Dave's got a gig there. Everybody can work there. Oh. That's easy. <laughs> when are you there? I'm there uh, the 10th, the 18th, the 25th, and the 26th. And uh, the show is a celebration of 100 years of great American songbook writing. So we start with some of these days, Sophie Tucker, through Gershwin, Cole Porter, Jerome Kern, through the 60s and 70s with uh, Mancini and Manilow. And uh, then we um, end up with some newer writers today who I think are creating all kinds of really uh, wonderful songs. With Can you name one? I can, and I'm actually going to sing the music of one of them. Uh, her name is Susan Warner. Is it a love song? Um, it, it's a little sadder than a love song, yeah. but uh, Can I sit and like watch? That. You certainly can. Are you going to do it for me? Uh, well, I will try to. <laughs> okay, let's, let's hear. Here's, here's Jennifer Sheehan. Let me get my chair. All Come right. On. Go ahead. Coffee, ham, and eggs. I can be your diner. Tired, aching legs. I'll be your recliner. And if you need a breath of air, I'll be your balcony. And when you need a laugh, I can be your joker. Cut a loss in half, I can be your broker. Cause all of that and more, you have been for me. I'll be the release when the pressure's heightening. I can be the grease when your wheels are tightening. And when you need a dance, I can be that old soft shoe. I can be your girl through the best and worst times. But I can't be the girl you notice for the first time. There's so much I can do, but I can't be Let's have a let's have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're good. You're good. Thank you so much. See you at the Metropolitan. Thank you so much. I'd All love right. to see we'll, you there. We'll, we'll be right back, folks. I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> and when you need a laugh, I can be your joker. Cut a loss in half. 
can be your broker Cause all of that and more You have been for me When New York celebrities have something to say, they head for the stoop. This is my stoop. I gotta come to the stoop. Talk stoop. I feel like we're so close that we could kiss. This is a whole other kind of stoop. It's where Cat Greenleaf gets people talking. What? What? Really? Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. Listen, Naked, do you mind if I call you Naked? Damn, it's something good. The best of New York on a stoop in Brooklyn. The celebrity butts that have graced the stoop. Talk stoop. Weeknights at 8 on New York Nonstop. Sponsored by Cozy. Life should be delicious. I'm an anchor and a pilot. I am passionate about chocolate. I am a ballerina. I'm the daughter of a jazz musician. I am a four-time New York Golden Glove champion. I'm my grandpa. Yeah, I'm my... <laughs> I'm interested in the story behind the story. I'm making this look natural. I am glamorous. I'm an anchor and a blues girl. I am all about my craft. I am New York. I am New York. I'm a New Yorker. I am New York. I am New York. We're all about New Yorkers. LX New York. It's the story of the moment. A taste of the best. It's opening night. A helping hand. The characters of New York. The spirit of New York, told our way. LX New York, weekdays at 5. We're all over town. Everybody's mad at me because I took so damn long. <laughs> I think... I was self-centered tonight. You took so damn long getting out of the chair after that gal sang. Yeah. I got stuck well, in the chair, for in the chair but they didn't know that I was stuck between the two cracks there. My knees were buckled. You know? They were going to have to get the jaws of life to get you out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you got Dale Archer here, you know. He's a doctor. Yes. Dr. Archer? I, I, was, I was analyzing why you were stuck in the chair, and uh, I came up with a couple of possibilities. Well, turn around a minute and analyze this. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Robert De Niro have all those dirty names, like, you know, the Fockers and Analyze This? You know, I mean, the guy's really got a, there's a double meaning to everything. Well, it's street. It's street. Jersey Shore is a street show. Jersey Shore. 10 million viewers a week, Jersey Shore. Now, 10 should, million a week. Should we be, and, and you know, we're in a business of numbers, right. and it, it gives you commercials, and commercials give you money. Right. Should we be judging ourselves by how many people like it or like us? Are we looking for numbers in everything that we do? Unfortunately, today's world is looking for that. As human beings, we should be looking for, you know, what are we doing that's contributing? What are we doing that's fulfilling ourselves? What are we doing to be good people, good husbands, fathers, mothers, sisters, daughters? That's what we should be looking at. And how many friends we have on Facebook. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> doesn't that go hand in hand? That all goes together. Back to the numbers. <laughs> now, I got something here that's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, and every time out, it's Peter Samuelson who teaches yes. the art of understanding the comedy of magic and also the tricks, which are not called tricks. Kreskin. Yeah, Kreskin will kick your ass if you call it was a real trick. quick to yeah. correct me on that one. <laughs> and and uh, Peter is uh, extraordinary. You know, at, Fe at Feinstein's every week, uh, you'll see him do a magic show. They even gave him a special room for it. He's got a room in the back. Are you, or did they put you in, the in that bigger room now? Well, we, we were in the men's room, but we're now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I ask? Now, Michael Chowd is here. Michael has uh, introduced me. 
and also came and worked the tables while you're waiting to see the show. Oh, you do, do close-up table around. magic? Yeah, we, yeah. We, it's a different show every week, actually, on stage. So the, the performers on stage switch. So the night Joey came, Peter was on stage, and I was doing close-up magic at the tables. And other nights, I'm on stage, and Dennis is actually on stage Dennis as well. Dennis Kyriakos, right? Kyriakos, yes. yes. He's yeah. a Greek. I am. By reputation. Yeah. And by birth. <laughs> it's not my fault. And he backed into this relationship. I don't, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go again. You didn't tell me it was going to be like this. You did, I know. There, there's, no, there's, no, there's no preparing That's you for these. Uh, full these circle answers. to Robert De Niro. There you go. I know. I know. <laughs> is, is it true that childhood shapes us? Is that right, Doctor? Yes. I, I, I was shaped by many things as a child, uh, toys do you, especially. Do you want to talk the, about this, that? I, I would love to, just okay. for a moment, okay. though. Okay. This is one of my favorite toys, though. This is, uh, uh, you know, you get these in, in cereal boxes. It's a pipe so, and a string. Exactly. And this is the best thing about this. It kind of does it. It doesn't do much, but this is what it does. <laughs> 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 it's, it's magic. But here's the best part about it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at Whoa. that. There you go. Whoa. How about that? That's Whoa. for you. There you go. You really Thank you very much. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, when I saw the show with you uh, at Feinstein's, I was so impressed with the idea that you're casual. And you don't think you're gonna you don't think you're gonna do anything. No. And that's what makes it really exciting because I thought, what are we doing here? I'm eat, right, I'm exactly. having cookies. Right, you exactly. Know. But you, you have a, a great way about you and I oh, I wanna emphasize that because when I, I want people to come and enjoy you like I did in person. Nice. Yeah. And well, really it's true. I mean, Peter, you're you're wonderful. You're thanks. wonderful. You, you know, there are classics in magic, uh, just as there are in, in music. We listen to some of the classics and, and uh Dennis is uh if you've got a moment here, I think I'd love to see him do one of the classics, and and then then we'll then we'll get to uh, that box. The box. Yeah. Carry that box everywhere. I... Yeah, exactly. So so you sure, might, you might yeah. actually absolutely. This is literally a classic of magic. It's one of the oldest tricks. It dates back to my ancestors, the ancient Greeks. Uh, it's uh, so old, in fact, that you actually need a magic wand to make it happen. Actually, take a look. Jump around inside those. Make sure there's nobody hiding oh. in them. They're made of uh, they're made of brass. Yeah. Now I see what a Greek urn. Solid. Urns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Solid what, cups. What they're made of brass. Anyway. Perfectly ordinary cups, just like the ones you have at home. Yes. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> you got to shine those at home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a home these you come from. And I have, uh, I have a wooden training bra. <laughs> <laughs> what you need for this to work, you also need uh, three little baseballs. You baseball yep. fan? Can I hold them? Uh, actually, I'm going to use, you could take a look at them in a second, but okay. let me do this first. Watch very carefully the first ball, yeah? You just give it a little wave with the wand like that, and it uh, disappears. Oh. Yeah, I'll do that again for you. There's a second ball right there. That's ball number two. Just a wave with the wand like that, and the disappears. Now, the Ooh. third ball, yeah, all right. Watch the third ball. The third one is the most difficult because now you're watching so close. <laughs> very, very difficult <laughs> to do that one. You just give it a little wave like that, and hopefully that one, yeah, vanishes oh, like that. Wow. To find them, you need to... Uh, that's great. You need to look under the cups. That's ball oh, number one. Oh, we like that. Wow. wow. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I really enjoyed watching this man play with his balls. That was <laughs> Watch one ball underneath each cup, yeah? Yeah. Uh, pick a cup. Which one would you like me to do Middle. this with? Number one, number two, or number three? Number it's up two. To you. You, don't, you don't want this one? I want two. This is going to be tough. I should have prepped for this. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Okay, so ball number two. Watch. You just give it a little, touch the ball with the wand like that. And there's two cups left. Number three or number one? Pick one. Which one? one? Number one. Watch. Just like that. Nice. And the ball passes through to join us. It really is gone. It really is gone. Uh, I'll do that again, even though you didn't ask. <laughs> it's kind of strange. <laughs> but this time we'll do it over there. Just a touch like that, and the ball travels hey. across to join us, friends. Wow. It really is gone. Now there's a hole. The bottom of the cup is a bit soft. I didn't mention that before. That's what makes this happy. Just give it a little touch like that. The ball passes through to join his friends. That's three balls. <laughs> Man. Wait, there's more. There's more. I'll do this very slowly for you. Very slowly. I'm ready so you to can put money this. on this here. I'll put. I'll cover each ball with a cup. Very slowly. Very fairly. No funny business. Nothing tricky. With. He's very suspicious. Joey's very suspicious. It really is. <laughs> it really is under the cup. It really is. I'll tell you what. I'll make it very easy for you. I'll take this one away, and uh, put that one away. Okay. Yeah. I'll put this one away as there uh, as well, leaving me only one ball. If you remember, uh, under the center cup, yeah? Right. Now, if you uh, touch the cup with the wand like that, 
uh, the ball comes hey. back. It comes back. Yeah? Did you see that? You just, I'll do it again. You just touch it just like that, and the, the ball comes back. Now, you can only touch the cup once. You touch the cup more than once, all three balls come back, and then you've got to start from the beginning. So let's start. Okay, you've got a second to start That's from the beginning. Great. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning. Thanks. I'll take one, two, three. I'll put them all away. And when you touch, take the wand. Be very careful where you point it. And uh, touch, <laughs> touch any one of the cups you like. Are you sure? Yeah. Would you be amazed if all three balls appeared underneath that cup? I'd be amazed. I would be, I would be amazed as well, but it's impossible. It's really, because there's a lime underneath. Oh! oh no. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> Actually, the strange wow. part is that there's a lime under oh. there, there's a lime oh. under there, <laughs> and there's hey. another one under there, yes. and that's, oh, wow. <laughs> that's a lot of is wow. the mystery well, of the country. Thank you, you very much. I guess you must have played for the Yankees. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that, would, that would be the closing line? That's the closing line. Yes. Oh. Thank you. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you very much. What about you? You're going to do something for us now? I, I am. Uh, now, I, we haven't prepped this at all. And, and do either of the oh, three of you have any change in your pocket? Pre change. Probably a quarter. I, see what we got here. I don't have any change. No. I have, uh, oh, I do, actually. Oh, yes, this is I great. Do. Yes, you I do. And Credit honestly, card? this has not been. I have. Uh, at all? I don't have a. I have a dime and a penny. Uh, that that's no good. It's too that's small. Good. But, too but small. it's okay because I actually every day is laundry day at my yeah. house. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I, uh, I want it on the record, uh, Doctor. You, you look like the, uh, the most the most honest, honest of, of the, the three. three. Yes. Uh, so pick one and make sure that, that it's a, a real coin. Is the I only one here with the title. Okay. Great, there. Joey. What I want you to do is put your initials on the front and the back of the coin and show it to the camera. You're gonna have to come in real close for it. Heads and tails. Here we go. Yeah. Right. It's my initial <coughs> on the coin on both sides. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, you have it? There you go. Yeah. Great. Here, I'll hold it up for you. Now, I don't know if you notice, it's a permanent marker. You just have to let it dry for a second. It's a Sharpie. Yep. Now, when I was a little boy, you would see a magician take a magic wand, touch the coin, and it would vanish. Today, that's about as cool as pulling a quarter out of your ear. Not so good, right? You've got to do something a little more extreme. So, today, extreme would be something like this. Your, Joey's coin, his initials. My mind. Put your hand out. Touch. If we get really close on this, you can see it. Because it's common knowledge you can't bend metal with just the power of oh, your mind. My Ooh. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> That's like Yuri Geller. <laughs> wow. Wait Check a minute. Check it out. Are those your initials? Yes, they are. Is that the coin you wrote on? On both sides. That is Nothing my. Set up. How'd you do that? <laughs> I'm really not allowed to tell you. But, you know, people pay 50 cents to get those coins bent in the machines, you know, at the San Francisco Bridge. That's for free, and that will bring you health, wealth, and long-lasting love. Well, you know, I had Yuri Geller on the show years ago. Okay. And he bent my apartment key <laughs> and didn't know how to get it back. So I <laughs> <laughs> you can't get in. I was at the Marriott that night. Yeah, well, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this is, that's this wild. is really way off. The, that, that's, that's this amazing. is great. I mean... You know, you don't know this until it happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> you use this at a gay laundry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use that line. No, don't use that. You, <laughs> you want to hold on to your job. <laughs> so will I. <laughs> All right, Peter, come on. I, can I do something? Uh, you got time for that box? We got a minute? Uh, we, got, we, got, we got a minute. Uh, you got right. quick, quick stuff here. So, so that uh, box. Every time you're here, you bring that. I want to see I, this. I now. do, I do. Well, we'll try and get to it. We'll try and get to it. But <laughs> we may, we, we may be a little tight. If we don't get to it, we'll go to Feinstein's. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so I'm a little concerned about the 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 the, 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 the wind here. I don't know if there we can take the fan down a bit just so we can do that. But you know, there there's a uh, we deal with stories. Uh, stories are really important in our lives. We tell stories about, about all sorts of things. And there's a, uh, myths are very important as well because they, they inform our lives. And this is the myth of the phoenix. Now, um, I don't know if we can do this here. To take the fan out would be great if they can. So uh, this is the myth of the phoenix. And you can, this is a bird image here because we deal with images a lot. You can almost imagine the bird flying there. So in ancient Greece, they told this story. It was the story of a... A bird, which was scarlet and gold, resembled a falcon or an eagle. Cheap origami for you there. There you go. And at the end of 500 years, this bird would build a nest in a great oak tree, sit in that nest and flap its wings very rapidly until it caught the nest on fire. Well, well you're about to, uh, to meet the phoenix. Now, I had, had you initial, in this case, the bottom of, of this uh, yeah. thing for you. Uh, if you could, uh, I wonder if maybe the... Uh, 
the, the, yeah, the, the shut it off. Uh, sh shut off? Yeah, yeah maybe it's 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 may, it's it's it may well yeah, be. Okay, great, lighter. terrific. So I think the lighter may work a little better though. There, there we go. That's good. So if you would just take that lighter, and I'm going to ask you to just set this uh, this on fire, if you would, please. There you go. There you go. Oh, is that all right? You're okay there with it? Oh, okay. there goes Nasdaq. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> so a little bit like this. It's a nice studio. It's really okay. You can take that out. You can actually see this burning. So the story is the phoenix would sit in its nest, which would burn for days and days, till all was left were the ashes, the embers, and the smoke. You can see the smoke that rose into the night. You can see this. But that's not just the end of the story, because the Egyptians had the story of the phoenix as well. But for them, the phoenix was the sun that would die at the end of every day, only to be reborn in the morning. So I'd like to have you, if you would, just hold on to the burnt section here. I'll turn it over so you can just hold it tight there, like that, if you would, please. Just hold that like that. There you go. Now I'll take that lighter. We'll get rid of that. Because the story is that out of those ashes, the phoenix would rise again, unharmed, reborn, you can let go, to live again for another 500 years. Uh, wow. That's impossible. <laughs> oh, oh what God. you just did is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be done. <laughs> and those are still your initials right there, right? That is unbelievable. And that's, that's the that. power of myth and story because those are what that's inform phenomenal. our lives. It, wow. You, you know, you're, you're more than, uh, than astounding. You're very, very, I, I would say, healing. I need you to touch some parts of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to say I wanted him to work with some of my patients. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think you could probably heal them. Just bring them down to fine science. They'll have a great time. Laughter and uh, amazement yes. does, goes a long way. Yeah, okay. It does indeed. Exactly. That's incredible. So you guys are, uh, so every, every uh, Sunday night. Always man, welcome here. And the Sunday night at Fine Signs at 7, right? 7 o'clock? Uh, the show's at 7. Close Up Magic starts at uh, 545. So you can eat. Yep. yep. And, we, and, we and, it's, and it's a great night. It really is a great night. Oh, I, I said it earlier, and I mean it sincerely. And it's a surprise. Our, can we give our website? Yeah, sure. Uh, for our other show, mondaynightmagic.com. Monday Night Magic, conveniently on Mondays. And uh, for Magical Nights at the Regency, it's magicalnights.com. So, well, very easy You guys to are welcome anytime. Thanks. And uh, we, just, we don't have time for this tonight, so we'll, we'll have to we'll, come back. We'll do it at Five Sons. Yeah. Do it on Sunday. We'll, we'll, we'll find Sunday. a time to do this for you. Sometime. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Dennis. Thank you for being here tonight. My it's really, uh, really nice to have you do what you do, which is amazing. to uh, uh, amuse and amaze Dave. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm, <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> I, I never saw anything like it. Do you uh, want your quarters back? I'm sure. No, okay. I'm keeping this. Just, just well, that's for Joey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go, these. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Do you uh, work I with guess other citrus or just limes? <laughs> 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 Can you do something with a nectarine? I'm Elizabeth Hasselbeck. If you're like me, you probably don't have a lot of free time to exercise and keep yourself in shape. For me, the answer is the Ab Glider from Proform. I can't tell you how much I love this amazing machine. It's a great fat-burning cardio workout, too. And it's fun. Unlike other ab machines, the Ab Glider combines circular and crunch motions for a fast, fun workout of your entire midsection. You engage more muscles, get a better cardio workout, and burn twice the calories of other ab machines. I went from an 11 to a size 4. 20 inches total. It's really easy and it's fun. With this offer, you'll get an onboard workout computer, Elizabeth's three-minute rapid results DVD, and her amazing abs instructional DVD, plus her amazing abs eating guide, a $159 value free. Try the Ab Glider now for 30 days, risk-free, for as little as $14.95. If you're not totally satisfied, you can return it for a full refund. You can't find a better way to get better abs at a better price. And getting started is easy. Just call or go online to proform.com. Uh, Peter Samuelson was just here with his magic, and you know the amazing thing besides uh, uh, the trick itself and watching it is that when I was holding the napkin and it was, uh, I was holding the burn part, if you watch this on television, and if you smell it, it is actually burned. I mean, it, this is right? a, uh, yeah. Absolutely. No, it so is. there's some sort of a, 
of a movement here that we didn't catch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this guy's a firefighter. <laughs> That's what he is. That is uh, crazy. And, and you know, uh, Little Italy's got its uh, San Gennaro feast again for 10 days. Thank God they right. uh, saw the wisdom of, uh, of having a fair that's been going on for 100 years. And, and Steve Maglio, who is one of the great traditional singers on, on uh, Mulberry Street, whenever he wants to, he sings anywhere he is anyway. And he was at Fine Science as well. Uh, he, he's, he's great. And, and he's uh, one of a kind because he carries that great tradition of the music of Frank Sinatra that we all love, but he's not trying to be Frank, you know. Right. He's, he's more than candid. Uh, but we have Steve Maglio, and here's Steve. I have dreamed that your arms are lovely And I have dreamed what a joy you'd be I have dreamed every word you whisper when you're close, close to me, how you look in the glow evening. I have dreamed and enjoyed. That by now I think I know what it's like to be loved by you. I will love being loved by. Whenever you see the name Stephen Maglio, you got to go. Wherever. That's show business. <laughs> That's that right. That is show business Atlantic right City. There. That's it. Carnegie Club. Carnegie, Carnegie Club, Club on Saturday Club. nights. That's right. Right here in New York. Every Saturday night? Every Saturday, Every Saturday night, night Carnegie Club. Right. And, and uh, not Joe Battaglia's big band anymore. Yeah. No, we got Stan Rubin. Stan, Stan Rubin, 11-piece Stan Stan big Rubin. band. Stan Rubin. Yeah. 11-piece big band every Saturday, and you could smoke cigars and cigarettes there if you like. That's, oh, that's, that's the way it's supposed to go. I like that. Old school. That's the place I to might be. have to start smoking again and go to that club. Why are you that's what you got to do. I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor Petty is coming up. Trevor Pretty. And, you know, we're going to celebrate the islands, you know. we got some of the yeah. food. You already cheated. But that's okay. It's good stuff. Yeah. And we're, we're going we're gonna to bring them out. We're celebrating Barbados. And Barbados. we have the people from there. Uh, Alto Gracia Nova, and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. With Nova? Mon. They're going to have smoked salmon? <laughs> <laughs> computer problems? Not a problem for Computer Haven. At a loss at what to do when a computer malfunctions or that inevitable virus strikes? Then call the guys at Computer Haven, the safe place for all your computing needs. 
experts in computer and laptop repair, upgrades, and new custom-built PC, desktops, and Macs. Give us a call today, 732-264-1100, or visit us at computerhaven-nj.com. How you look in the glow evening I have dreamed and enjoyed the view Well, there's quite a view from here, and it's uh, really amazing how many people are not from here, yet we all pretend. I'm from another planet, and, and we have a guy who's named Trevor Pretty, and he's got some people with him who are even prettier than he is. Hi, Trevor. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're from Barbados. I'm definitely from Barbados. And, and we have a, a little bit of an ensemble tonight, and food. Yeah, definitely. You can't, yeah. you can't be West Indian and go anywhere with food and music and drink. So we have the we have the island girls bringing the uh, definitely yeah traditional food yeah here. come and try some some Barbados food yeah I brought some I brought some Barbados right. food where's it from um called Pepper's Restaurant in Brooklyn New this. York they Doc. make Barbados Doc, food you wanna, you in wanna Brooklyn put your glasses well there's, there's, there's definitely a Barbados oh, restaurant yeah uh, <laughs> actually I am so they're I don't need the glasses for them. Yeah. <laughs> I only need them for the distance for close thank you for up. putting the fish in front of me <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah wow yeah called Pepper's Restaurant is located in Brooklyn. Now what's this smells, here smells besides like bait? Look, that's flying fish. That's our national fish. Flying fish. Mm -hmm. Flying fish, yeah. That's turnover. That's what coconut. Is that? This coconut turnover is called turnover. Okay. Yeah, that's a look, 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 it's a dessert, like a delicacy. But yeah. it's a national. Now, what do we got here? What is this? Is uh, that's coconut sweet bread. Coconut bread. Yeah, coconut mm -hmm. sweet bread. You gotta say sweet bread. Oh, coconut sweet bread. Yeah, sweet bread. No, this is very bread. good. Yeah. How many points is that on Weight Watchers? There's about 82 <laughs> points. There's 82 <laughs> points on Weight Watchers. Is that good? No, it's good. What you do is you eat this one day, and then for three weeks you don't eat anything. Else. <laughs> and you accumulate your points that way. So are you, are you the guys with the steel drums? Uh, no, we're the guys with the tuck band, actually. I mean, I, I get a lot of Caribbean. I actually play steel drums. We have tuck band. And our, our carnival is called Crop Over. It's a, it's, Every country has a carnival, but yeah. ours is more of like a music, like a festival. Is this for Lent? Uh, no, no, that's Trinidad. The hours in the summertime, it celebrates the kind of the last sugar canes. So like, there's like a, there's music, there's a lot of phenomenal food, a lot yeah. of cultural different activities, and it's also the big carnival and juvenile that kind of stuff. Just that our approach to it is more of a history from a historical standpoint. So what have you done? Any movies? Uh, I'm a writer, director, and choreographer. I have a musical yeah. coming here in, on May 26. Opens off Broadway in Harlem at the Black National Theater. What's it called? It's called Love, Life, and Happy Endings. Does it have anything to do with Barbados? Uh, you know, it's a, I'm Barbadian, so I guess yeah. it has everything to do with Barbados. It has, it has a really, it has a stronger connection to Caribbean people in New York City. It's, it's a diverse cast. A lot of songwriters are from Barbados. And you spent some time over there. You were I've been Barbados. there. Yeah, sailed around the islands and the whole Isn't it? It's, one, it's, it's the most sexiest island in, in the well, world. Well, I just liked it because it was so far out in the Atlantic, right? <laughs> like everything else is in a straight line and then Barbados is way out in the I'm middle sure of the Atlantic Ocean. I'm sure you also enjoyed how beautiful it was. Well, and the beautiful people, beautiful and people, the beautiful right? women. Beautiful weather, beautiful women. Yeah, which we saw. This is where you have yeah. to come. That's where you have to come and follow me now and come to Barbados for crop over. I, I need to come back. You need to come for crop over. Okay, just coconut stuff. Okay. See, you get you get loads of coconut stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor climbed up a tree to get that for you. You better believe it. <laughs> Cut it. Had a grated grated coconut just, myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's his idea of shagging. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, all these lovely ladies we have on the set here, which uh, we haven't shown the television audience yet, yeah. are they from the islands? Well, actually, I'll Or did you just rent them? I just met them here. I rent them. Yeah. They're, they're, Barb they're Barbadian by affection for the wonderful country. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the, the song you're about to see perform later on tonight is from the musical. It's called We Chip In. It was written by uh, myself and the band from Barbados called Strategy. And it will be performed by Alta Gracia Nova. She's um, actually... Uh, Latino performer from New York, but she auditioned for my workshop in New York for the musical, and she's one of the principal stars of the musical. And some of the guys here in the band, you got a keyboard guy. I got keyboard. He's, I got Curvins. He's Haitian, actually. Uh huh. We believe in Caribbean unity. Yeah. Well, what about the other guy over there? He looks like he just really he's doesn't like me. He's actually American. I, mean, uh, I, knew, like, he, I knew there was a reason. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually American, but he, he has dreadlocks. He looks Caribbean. Oh, so he's wearing that hat to hide the dreads. Yeah, but you know, he's yeah. American. You know, you know. You know, you know I, I have dreads. Did you? No. 
<laughs> you can get those dreadlock extenders, though, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Bob Marley. We smoked his hair. Did you? When I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> so no, yeah. I, love, I love Bob Marley. I just I shouldn't be disrespectful because he is like a saint in the Caribbean. Thing. Yeah, he's definitely a cult. And I, a, a I would hero. stop. You know, whenever you take a cruise ship, you got to buy five or six Bob Marley <laughs> T-shirts and books and bring CDs, them back to your kids definitely. who aren't supposed to be smoking pot. <laughs> they call it something else. They call it ganja. Then you think you can get away with it. Our Mary Joanna, but yeah. Oh, that's it. I mean, I, this is what I heard. I now, know. what what are we gonna do? So now? You read in the magazine. What's, what's, in the magazine, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. This is a song that we're doing from your musical. Yeah. Which opens in Harlem on in May. May twenty sixth. Runs for three weeks in Harlem. And, and and the and the song is called what again? We chip in. It's like a carnival. We chip to, in. It's a carnival song. Yeah. And this okay. is from which? From the musical is. Love, life, and happy endings. Love. All right. And life. Right love does have a very expensive happy ending. ending. <laughs> Well, but it could be happy. I leave the money on the nightstand. <laughs> here's the here's the love has a happy ending show song, of love life a happy endings. The, the song, song is called We Chip In. We Chip In. Yeah. All right, let's eat. Great, Trevor. You no. got a you got a great show. It's gonna be a great show. Ours is ending here tonight. Now. I see. Thank you closed you. it. Thank you. you closed our show. Hey, we like to do it big from Barbados. But it's been a long run. A very long. <laughs> run. <laughs> well, before I leave, I have to give you a gift. You know, like we can't just come in and give you just well, food. You better hurry. Promise. Well, 
<laughs> it's Steve um, Wheeler's birthday. You don't mind if I re-gift, do you? <laughs> On behalf of the Consul General of Barbados, this is my mentor tourism authority. This is a Barbados package wow, for you. Wow, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Steve, yeah. this is your birthday gift, Steve. Right. It has Mount Gear Rum, Barbados pepper sauce. Like, it's amazing, yeah. I went all the way to the islands for this, Steve. <laughs> you don't know the problems I had getting this for you. <laughs> Trevor is my good friend who brought it and delivered it tonight. Right, Trev? That's right. Happy Dale, birthday, Steve. Dale Archer, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you very Don't much forget for to go to Dave Koenig. He's going to be at March 26th, is it? March 23rd at Metropolitan Room, Wednesday night, 9.30 show. I'm recording my new comedy CD that night. Yeah. All right. March 23rd. We want to say good night to everybody. Thank you, girls. You're wonderful, and thank you all for being here. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you again, all right? Let us smile, be your umbrella, and we'll get a mouthful of rain. There are 13,000 cabs in New York City, but there's only one that pays you. Climb into the cash cab, and I'll quiz you all the way to your destination. As the meter clicks, the questions get harder, and the stakes get higher. If you get stumped, you can shout out for help on the phone or off the street. Can you come here for a second? But be careful, because in this rig, it's three strikes, and you're out. So what do you say? Tonight is our most important fundraiser, because it kicks off our season of fundraisers. Barb, you don't want to wait until after you eat your dinner before you eat all that? I got dinner. One of these things is a chicken leg. <laughs> and later tonight, we will be holding the very popular teacher raffle, which is your chance to win a play date for your child with his or her teacher. So give generously tonight, because if you don't, your children will pay the price. <laughs> Since you can't see color, you might not be able to tell that Mr. Harris is headed this way. Oh. <laughs> to come over here? What are we going to do? Yeah, uh, keep talking to me. Okay, no, start a fight with me. Yeah. No, 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 kiss me. I'm sorry, I, I panicked. We don't have to talk about it. So what do you have planned for the play date? Last year, Mrs. Bell took the winner to the world premiere of Over the Hedge, and then on a VIP tour of the zoo where they helped birth a giraffe. Oh, wow. I, I don't know. I thought we'd go to a park or... Maybe the library? The, the library? With all the homeless people? <laughs> oh, there's Mr. Harris. Should we go? But I'm so close to the chocolate. <laughs> no, I can do this, okay? Just please don't leave me alone with him, okay? You got it. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Harris, I'm going over there. Hi. Hi. He's an ass. And yet it seems you spend almost every minute of every day together. I know. I'm an ass, too. Hey, I wanted to ask you, have you been to that new ice cream place on Washington? No. Is it good? Well, it sounds great. I read about it in the, uh, in the food section. Uh-huh. All the ice cream is handmade right there, so you get to tell them what ingredients to put in. So basically, you make up your own flavor. How does that sound? Oh. <laughs> well, um, I'm very flattered. Um, but I don't know. It feels like it might be...